A donut chart is very similar to a pie chart, except that in the donut chart there's an empty space in the middle like this. Both the donut chart and the pie chart are most suitable for visualizing parts to a whole, meaning out of these different industries and total market value of all the companies that, that belong in each industry, what portions of, of the total value do they represent? Therefore, when I point at this blue section here of the donut chart, the financials industry, I'm showing a percentage number that describes what percentage share of the whole market that the financial sector represents. So if I reduce detail here and I click that, this donut chart becomes gray because we can't show a mix of categorical colors. And we see that it's 100%. If I bring the details back, I can move around the chart and I can see what percentage share each of the industries have of the full market value. And to achieve that, we need to use the percent of total aggregation method. And we can use this percentage format. And uh, in order to be able to actually view the dollar value, I've also added that below as a detail, which we have here, which I aggregate as a regular sum. And I gear it down by a factor of 1 million. And I show the uh, M suffix to, to get rid of some digits there. In this one, I have also on the general settings, I've added the show labels. And in this one below, we're using a different way of coloring. We're coloring by one week change, aggregate as a weighted mean, weighted by market capitalization value. And we then sort everything by color. This legend down here tells us that stuff down in the red is uh, approximately minus 4% and stuff up in the dark blue is plus 4%. We have nothing that has performed that good on average on, on the week. Again, I can show the market cap value as a percentage share of everything, the market cap value in dollars and the one week change percent as a weighted average per industry. I can also cross tab the donut chart. If we look in the breakdown on this one, it means that the columns I have added region. So all the data is split up into in this case, three sections, one for each geographic region that is contained in the region column of the data set. As a consequence, I can see that in Asia Pacific, basic materials is 9.8%, while in Europe, it's 7.3%. But again, if we look at the nominal values, we see that in uh, Asia Pacific, basic materials is some 262 billion, I suppose. And here we are uh, up by almost half of that. So this blue bar here, and this one here, they are not comparable other than in the percentage share that they have among their peers within the same region. But as you can see, the nominal numbers are very different. When you are considering creating a visualization to show how parts of a whole compare, what portion of the total that they have, there are some other options. So if we look at these, we have a donut chart looking like this, the pie chart, based on the same data would have this appearance. A stacked bar chart would give you this, which by many is recommended over both the donut chart and the pie chart, because it's easier to interpret the length of these bar sections compared to understanding exactly how these different pie slices or donut uh, sections compare. You can even use the tree map for a visualization like this, which can be more space efficient sometimes. In that case, you will get rectangles and they're not necessarily as easily comparable as a stacked bar because they are perhaps not always aligned in one line like this. If we have a bigger set of different values. So that's the donut chart.